Guy Miles' life was remarkable from the start, growing up in her father's rustic homestead in Big Sur. In her 20s, she lived in San Francisco's North Beach during the Beat Era, expressing her art as a painter and photographer. After a few years in New York City in the mid-60s, she returned to California, living in a funky houseboat in Sausalito. She then lived at her San Pablo horse ranch for a short stint. From there, Guy moved to Berkeley and traveled throughout the world, writing logs of her many trips. She wrote two travel books and a biography of her father, Jaime D'Angulo, the old coyote of Big Sur, as well as Jaime in Taos, published by City Lights. During her lifetime, she created poetry and many short stories about her observations and experiences in Big Sur, San Francisco, Sausalito, and Berkeley. Here are a few excerpts from a 1993 conversation between Guy and artist Charles Modecki about the San Francisco art scene. Now, I was going to tell you about, oh, my first show, which was uh, George Late. George Late, who was, uh, I guess he was up here trying to get a little funds for my mother. But anyway, he came over to this house and looked at my drawings, which I had been working very hard on for a number of years. They were um, India ink wash drawings. And um, he said he would give me a show. Well, I was very pleased and everything like that. And that happened, uh, and that was my first show in the summer of 1947. Ah, well, it's all so long ago. And then there was one rather fun thing, and that was the Freeland Gallery, <laughs> which was uh, these uh, three friends of mine who decided they could all do non-objective painting. Lester, who was uh, driving cab, found this triangular room with the yellow floor, and we were all going to have a show there. And the idea, we would all pay part of the rent, and we would all uh, have a group show, and then we would all have show uh, single, uh, person shows, and then we would uh, share the sitting, and uh, we were supposed to sit part of each week. But we had an opening, and it was lots of fun, and everybody came, and then we had another show, and this one was my one-man show. And that was lots of fun, and we had another party, and everybody drank a lot of wine, and people had fights and whatnot, and then we went away, and we never came back again. <laughs> and then the sixth gallery took over, and I never approached them by a thousand feet, because they were all the institute people, and I didn't think that they would even let... Uh, it was a sort of an in-group, is that An in-group, yeah. <coughs> and so with all those things, I got kind of discouraged, and I quit painting, and I took up photography, and that's when I started working for, uh, um, you know, uh, the Delexi Gallery.
since I started doing, uh, 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 you know, uh, realistic landscapes, uh, just for the hell of it, I don't know, for what, lack of anything better to do, I found the most extraordinary amount of pleasure that people can get in looking at paintings, and I don't think they're so great, but other people really love it them. Enjoy. And enjoy. they are not thinking at all in terms of, uh, of what they'll be worth someday, or who I am, or whether I'm famous or not. They just like that little picture. Guy D'Angulo Mayo was a talented, smart, and generous individual. Always refreshingly candid, her friends and fans will miss her unique and independent spirit.